Police and crime commissioners like Devon and Cornwall's Tony Hogg are elected to reflect local people's policing priorities. The success of this public-facing role relies on him being far more visible and approachable than the former police authority ever was. Well, this is geographically one of the largest policing areas in England and Wales with a unique mix of urban, rural and coastal areas. So how do we ensure that you get to hear about what Tony Hogg's policing plans actually are and that you feel able to tell him what you think? Of course, you can't beat face-to-face -face meetings and today the Commissioner is talking to local people at a large supermarket. My business is to connect people with their policing priorities and I'm here today to try another way of connecting with the public. Here we are providing an opportunity for people when they're shopping to ask questions about their policing priorities, to meet me, the Police and Crime Commissioner, who's there to act on their behalf and to listen to their views. I think some people really like seeing that elected representative out and about and someone they can go and speak to about their issues. I think for some people it's an informative time that we spend with them, so learning about the role of the Police and Crime Commissioner and the role that he has. Um, and also, you know, we, we do get a few critics as well, but hopefully when they meet the guy himself and they understand the work that we do as an office, they come around to the idea. Local residents who prefer a more private meeting or need a little longer with the Commissioner can request a one-to-one -one surgery appointment. These are held throughout the force area. Mr Hogg is keen to take part in community events and public meetings are an effective way to hear about the local issues that really matter to people. Many of these meetings have been broadcast live by the BBC across Devon and Cornwall, allowing the Commissioner to interact with thousands of listeners. These are challenging times for policing and this is reflected in the wide range of questions during the phone-in programmes. A good way to assess the impact of Commissioners is to look at the size of their mailbags. In Devon and Cornwall it's around six times larger than the former police authority. That's an indication itself that for those um, who are directly affected by policing and policing, potentially policing problems, they are contacting the PCC and the Office of the Police and Crime Commissioner in much greater number than ever they used to. And it's down to the PCC and his or her team then to demonstrate that they're doing something about the concerns that are being expressed. Mr Hogg must make sure that the public's views really do influence local policing priorities and that there's effective you consultation about important issues. Is to A lot of the things that we hear about is numbers of police officers. People are concerned about police officer numbers going down. What we're here actually speaking to people about today is engagement with local policing teams. So we're asking people what their preference is in terms of how would they like to speak and contact their local policing teams. Is that just by telephone, is that social media, or actually would they rather their local police and teams where someone they could access them, for example, maybe like today. The PCC also has a very strong digital presence through social media channels like Twitter, Facebook and YouTube, and a newly designed website which encourages interaction. We've tried to produce a website that people can go to and easily find in lots of different ways the information that they will need and to be given lots of opportunities to take part and give us feedback. So whether it's attending a rural crime forum at an agricultural show, seeing restorative justice projects at first hand, taking part in pride and respect events or hearing what youngsters think about policing, Tony Hogg devotes a good amount of time away from his office and getting into the heart of our communities, engaging directly with local people. As we move on in this job together as a team, uh, we, find, we need to find more and innovative ways to engage with the public.